Now we're going to define two more terms, being left continuous at a value and being right continuous. And um, just like we had right-handed and left-handed limits when we didn't have the whole limits, here we can talk about something being left continuous or right continuous um, if it's not actually continuous at the point. Okay, If something is continuous at a point, it'll be both left-handed and right-handed continuous as well. So a function is left continuous at A if the left-handed limit, so the left limit as x goes to a from the left of f of x equals f of a. So if the function value is equal to the left-handed limit. And we say a function is right continuous at a if the right-handed limit of f of x equals the function value. Okay, so let's look at this graph we have here, this function. And from what we have here, we could say um, that the function f of x, the whole function, is continuous from 0 up to 2, but not including 0 or 2, and then 2 to 4, but not including them. Now, we can't include the endpoints because we don't have, for this left-hand endpoint, we don't have um, a left-handed limit. And for this right-hand endpoint, we don't have a right-handed um, limit. And at 2, we have a jump discontinuity. Okay, now what can we talk about 0, 2, and 4? Well, we can say 0, so f of x is right continuous at 0. because So the function value there is 6. And the right-handed limit, as we come from the right, the limit would be 6. Okay, let's look at 2. Now the left-handed limit is up at like 2 point something. And the left-handed limit is at 1, where the dot is filled in and it's actually um, the function value there. So we could say f of x is right continuous. at 2. And then at 4, we don't have a right-handed limit, but our left-handed limit is equal to the function value of the closed dot there. So we could say f of x is left continuous at 4.